Hello everyone. Our activity for today is investigating directly connected routers. The network in the activity is already configured. We will log into the routers and use show commands to discover and answer the questions below about the directly connected routes. Part 1. Investigate IPv4 directly connected routes. Step 1. Use show commands to gather information about the IPv4 directly connected networks. What option would be most beneficial in determining the networks assigned to the interfaces of the router that is connected? Which networks are directly connected on R1? There are three networks connected on R1. 172.31.20.0-slash-23 172.31.22.0-slash-23 and 209.165.200.224-30 Which IP addresses are assigned to the LAN interfaces on R1? One seven two dot three one dot two four dot two five four was assigned to interface G zero slash zero, and one seven two dot three one dot two five dot two five four was assigned to interface G zero slash one. On R2, there are three networks connected. 172.31.24.0-24, and Interface G0 slash 0 has IP address 172.31.24.254 and Interface G0 slash 1 has IP address 172.31.25.254 Step 2. Verify PC addressing and test connectivity. PC1 is able to communicate with all interfaces on the router because PC1 has the correct gateway address and the router lists all of the connected networks in routing table.
PC2 can ping to PC1. PC3 has IP address 172.31.24.10. And PC4 has IP address 172.31.25.10. PC3 can ping to PC4 and PC1. R1 and R2 are in the same network 209.165.200.224/0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
PC2 can ping to PC1. Access command IPv6 config to determine the IPv6 addresses of PC3 and PC4. PC1 can ping to PC3. R1 and R2 have the default IPv6 static routes forwarding to each other. That's all. Thank you for watching.